Let's jump right into it. www.lawofassumptionprincess.com for anything that I offer. Of course, as always, make sure that you read that disclaimer in full. Oh, we have a lot of exciting things coming to the site, so I'm looking forward to that. Now, today's video, I'm like, where did I put my spread? Well, hold on, hold on. I don't even know why I did that. Like, why did I do? I don't. I put my setting spray in my purse and I forgot to like put the cap on. Whatever, y'all. Which lip gloss do I want to use? Oh my god. <laughs> why did I get this all under control before I press start filming? <laughs> to be honest, I think that today's video actually might be rather straight to the point because I just want to drive this point home for y'all. And there's really nothing much to say about it other than the truth, okay? So a lot of the times. This is gonna be, these two uploads, these two consecutive uploads that I do are kinda gonna be like mirroring each other because they're kinda in the same realm. But I want y'all to understand when you are asking yourself questions, questions, so we like them, questions, right? When they're really just like negating your power. It's not a question, you're really just giving your power away. But when y'all are asking yourself, well, why isn't my manifestation here? Or why is it that I don't have what I want yet? Or why have I been working on it for X, Y, Z amount of time and it's still not here? Do y'all not understand that you fixing your lips to say that is still a perfect manifestation? Saying you don't have your manifestation yet is literally a perfect manifestation. And I'm bringing this to y'all's attention because we got to do a little internal reflection. Okay? Okay? When you are saying to yourself, I have been choosing to live in this timeline for X amount of time. I've been persisting whatever language you want to use, right? And then you follow that up with, but I don't have, but it's not working, but I don't see movement, but I don't have my SP yet. That is still a perfect manifestation. You are manifesting perfectly because what we know about the law is that there is no wrong way to do law of assumption. Okay? The law is not biased, which is why it calls for you to be internally honest with yourself, your truth, and your story. If you are genuinely, 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 Choosing your story and choosing to experience what it is you want to experience. Would you really be cultivating a sentence that ends with, but I still don't have. That gives the energy of one foot in, one foot out. That gives the energy of trying. That gives the energy of, like I say all the time, working towards some shit. Uphill battle, halfway up the mountaintop, but not quite there yet. So that question in of itself is reflective of where you have been dominantly living internally when it comes to your story. You have been telling myself, I've been putting all this work in, I've been affirming, I've been visualizing, I've been staying true to my story, I've been giving myself what I want, but I still don't have it. So that's a 50-50 story in of itself because it's a contradictory story. So in your reality, you are going to be experiencing what? A contradictory story. A contradictory story is what is going to be playing out. So you might be getting a little bit of movement, you might be getting a little bit of something, and then, you know, whatever. Because that is exactly what you are emitting as the storyteller. That is exactly what you are narrating as the narrator of the story. And I want y'all to realize and understand this. Manifestation is not biased. The law of assumption is not biased. It is perfect and it will tell on you, okay? Now, this isn't to say that getting frustrated or having a doubt, y'all know I tell y'all this all the time. It's not to say that it is going to knock your shit down like a game of Jenga. That's not what I'm saying because there's people 
who do this work, who have done this law, and they have had doubts from time to time, but they're not labeling it that. They're not labeling it a problem. They're not labeling it an issue. They might have their emotions about it. They might have their feelings about it, but that doesn't mean that their story has now changed into, oh, I don't have it. Y'all have to stop defaulting to a reality that you do not wish to experience. Please get out of this headspace that reality is doing something to you. Please, please escape this headspace that reality is trying to actively bully you. It is all just you. It is an echo chamber, okay? So when you are harping, permeating, marinating on, I've been doing dot, 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 but, but that's where y'all, that's where y'all, that's where y'all lose y'all marbles. As soon as y'all say, but, that's when y'all start to lose your marbles. That's when y'all lose y'all cool when they're all round, okay? Because you're not understanding and you're not remembering, you're not remembering that the power is within here. So saying that you do not have your manifestation is a perfect manifestation. Saying that you don't have what you desire. Saying that you are not in your desired reality you're manifesting, Buki. You're manifesting so good. You're manifesting so well. Because this isn't a light switch that you can turn on or off. It's forever. It's a forever journey. It's a forever lifetime lifestyle change. Okay? So I need y'all to, again, become inner reflective. Become inner reflective because if you are going to be at the mercy of the 3D and of the circumstances forever in a day... Why are you doing the law? Why are you trying to practice the law? I understand we want our manifestations. That part is included. The 3D changes is on its own, right? So you might as well stop worrying about what the hell is going on in 3D and focus on what's going on in the internal because this is the cause and this is the effect. This, all the things that you're experiencing that you claim to be unpleasant and unfavorable, not part of your ideal story, they didn't just come from thin air, y'all. They were something that you harped on. You harped on it, you accepted it as true, even if it was something that you didn't like, and it pushed out into your 3D reality because that is the nature of 3D reality. That is the nature of the multiverse, okay? What happens up here as above, so below. As above, so below. So when you are continuously making yourself miserable by lending your precious, precious, valuable awareness towards something that you don't want to experience, you're still manifesting perfectly, babe. You are still manifesting. And when I say you're doing it so well that you're not even aware of it, you're doing it so well. So what's happening? Your reality and your subconscious mind alike they're saying, oh, she's still saying that we don't have it. He's still saying that we don't have it. They're still insisting that we don't have it. Okay, I guess. Let me ensure that that continues to be a part of this experience. Do y'all get what I'm saying? You have it because it's up to you. There is no other God that can come reign over your reality and tell you what you have and tell you what you don't have. Even if you are presented with what I call contrast, that doesn't have to mean that you don't have what you want. That doesn't have to mean that you are not in your ideal reality. You're the one that makes that choice. Don't give anything outside of you so much power because then what starts to happen is you're putting yourself in a catch-22 situation. So you're practicing the law, you're, you're rewiring your subconscious mind, you're understanding your God self, but at the end of the day, you're still giving your power away to out here. And you're still convincing yourself that you don't have what you want. Well, you're the reassurance of that. You're the source. You're the painter. You're the narrator. You're the script writer. You're the showrunner. You are literally everything. So how can you get mad at something externally when everything is stemming from you internally? Understand that. I know that it might seem frustrating sometimes. I get it. I completely empathize with you. Y'all know that this is the Law of Assumption Princess channel of empathy. I empathize with y'all. But I'm going to correct you when I see it because I was once there. I was once there. And I had to catch myself and say, all I'm experiencing is me. 
all I am experiencing is self objectified. My consciousness of whatever it may be objectified. I can't blame anyone outside of me anymore. I'm privy to this information. Therefore, I have to know better. I have to know better for myself. If I want to experience better, I have to be the landscape for myself to experience said better thing, said better experience. It has to come from here. I have to keep going internal, 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 internal. And then the external follows. But do not make any mistakes because you are always perfectly manifesting. No matter what your 3D looks like, you are always perfectly manifesting. So telling yourself that you still don't have the manifestation and that it's not working, is still manifesting. You're, you're still manifesting, perfect poogie, okay? Call out, call out time over. <laughs> Cause I gotta get to creating some more content for the rest of my platforms. But at any rate, I love you guys so much. Make sure that you follow me on Twitter, okay? At It's Her Universe. And also make sure that you follow me on TikTok and Insta at Tiff Raya Grande. And make sure that you follow Law of Assumption Princess on Insta. I love my community over there. If you're following me on Insta, you're a baddie. I, it's very interactive. I talk to y'all a lot. We have a lot of fun over there. So check it out, okay? And until next time, you know that I love you. 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 I love you.